Labdien, damas un kungi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome you to Air Baltic Pilot Academy Open Day today on the 1st of October here in Riga, uh, Latvia. My name is Vilmantas and I'm, I am uh, one of the directors of Pilot Academy. And I would like to invite you today uh, for the short tour about our Pilot Academy, about Air Baltic future opportunities. And uh, it will be having uh, two parts. One part will be introduction of A Air Baltic, B Air Baltic Pilot Academy. And the second part will be answering all your questions, which you can put on the slider.com. Uh, should be appearing soon on the screens. So you just type in slido.com and then you enter the password pilot academy 11 i think or pilot academy 10 you will have soon on the screen uh, uh, the necessary information so back again uh, welcome this uh, autumn day very nice here in riga behind me you can see uh, the moving airbus 220 simulator which is your future aircraft if you complete pilot academy and are invited to join the Air Baltic, uh, one of the most modern and uh, youngest fleet in Europe. So, and let's start, uh, who is behind us? And who is Air Baltic? What is about? So, Air Baltic is a regional main carrier of uh, Baltic states, uh, uniting uh, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. We have uh, 1,200 employees now. Previously, I've been showing you the slides and a uh, similar slide, and it was 1,000. Yes, during a COVID, we uh, shrank down to 1,000 people. Now we're back again, starting to re-employ. And uh, very good news been announced just recently that uh, we are employing 120 pilots this autumn to have enough people to fly next summer. So currently we have 200 pilots, but as I mentioned, 120 pilots are joining now the airline uh, within the coming months. The career, career path in Air Baltic is very uh, straightforward. Uh, you start as pilot academy, then you finish as a, a first officer, and then from first officer you move to the senior first officer, and after the senior first officer you go to the captain. And that usually takes uh, four to six four to five years okay the pandemic uh, made a little break sorry it was almost falling uh, made a little break in uh, in that career path but uh, we can remove that break and you will see the same movement of the people from the first officer through the senior first officer into the captain position and uh, you don't have any any chance to move on other type in our air company because we operate purely Airbus 220-300 fleet. And uh, today we have received the 32nd aircraft uh, in the company. And this is end of uh, this year deliveries. Last year we had 25. This year we took seven deliveries. And this is the last delivery for the winter. And the next delivery is starting in February. Uh, 1, March 3. And then during summer until the end of the year we'll have uh, plus eight aircraft. You can see here from uh, that uh, picture. Uh, I will I will stop a little bit because the simulator is lowering down for the safety reason. There is a sound uh, just for the engineer's protection. Now the bridge will be open and uh, pilots who've been training on the type here will leave and other pilots will come in. So, uh, returning back again to our talks and uh, what we are uh, flying. So, uh, the fleet program is based on destination 2025 clean, which is our business plan until 2025. Now, the company is continuously developing the business plan for 2026, which will be even more interesting to look into the future. But what we know currently and what we are aiming uh, today is 50 aircraft by 2023. And as I mentioned, as you can see from 2020 and 2021, uh, we added seven aircraft. Next, uh, next year, we'll have another eight aircraft. And year after, we'll have another 10 aircraft. Totally, we'll have 500 aircraft. 
If you take a rule of thumb that each aircraft requires 10 pilots, five captain and first, first officers, we need extra about 300 pilots within the next uh, two and a half years. So that is why we are taking today 120 pilots back into the airline. A part is from the flight academy, pilot academy, and two thirds are from uh, uh, the pilots who are rehiring or rejoining back again the airline. And that will be continuously until uh, we have no pilots left who've been uh, flying with the company. And the backlog of, backlog of the Pilot Academy students are going to end by the spring uh, next year. Uh, what we are training and uh, why the Airbus to 20, 300 is so important. Uh, I've been flying myself the early commercial jets, uh, which was uh, Caravella and also Boeing 737-200 which had a lot of uh, round dials around and a lot of switches, a lot of subsystems. And uh, usually those uh, aircraft been flying with three crew members then uh, moved into the second generation of the aircraft with a bit more modern avionic and bit better integration of the systems. We shortened our crew down to two, uh, the captain and first officer. and. Uh, that was like uh, 737 200 and uh, uh, the the little bit more generation of the aircraft finally uh, during the last 20 years uh, the aviation modernized itself and moved into glass cockpit so-called or electronic flight instrument systems EFIS. and uh, together with that safety improved to another level and uh, our airline been flying also third generation q400 and uh, Boeing 737s uh, previously. So we, we cleaned up uh, the sheet and we introduced the fourth generation aircraft which is most modern in the world currently and have all integrated avionics inside with primary navigation display, multifunctional displays and also all the systems is fly-by-wire and integrated in, into the whole package. So to fly this airplane uh, we need to have also modern airplane for the training. And uh, that is why uh, we introduced uh, into the Pilot Academy Diamond 40 and 42s, which are similar, modern, and similar advanced aircraft. And to fly those airplanes, so without a simulator, the, you would be not able to train it's yourself. So behind me, you can see the, uh, one of the newest simulator also in the world. It only has a second year in operation. And uh, what is inside is exact replica of what you would see in the aircraft. And you as a pilot academy uh, students, the end of the training, which is multi-crew cooperation course, is uh, going to happen on, on uh, this simulator. And I think uh, we have a few students already training there. Uh, air, airline pilot needs and student needs. So as you can see here in the graph uh, on your uh, left, there is a pilot needs and 2020-2021, uh, because of the COVID, we had a steady uh, number of the pilots to fly in uh, production 2025 airplane. And together with deliveries of another seven uh, aircraft this year plus eight next year, we need around 120-150 pilots. The average is uh, 135. We now call for 120 pilots and we'll see what the spring will bring to us if the economical and uh, COVID situation will stay the same and vaccination rate will be ongoing in each European country. So the spring and summer will be returning back again to pre-COVID levels and we might be co calling another pilots in the spring. But as you can see, 2023 brings another challenge uh, when we need another 120, 100 pilots. So, and uh, if you start now, in the pilot academy so you're most probably going to finish in 2023 and so uh, you will have a seat for 2024 and 2024 we will need another 80 pilots because uh, natural t turnover of the airline pilots is about 10 percent per year because of the pension scheme because of uh, different other uh, other reason people are returning to their homelands and uh, trying to find a job here so we have a natural turnover. With that natural turnover, we always need about 50 to 60 pilots per year. And that is uh, beyond 2024, our future. 
uh, on the right side, the student pilots. So uh, we had the first group uh, of graduates uh, uh, during uh, 2019 when it was the COVID time. 2020, we haven't finished anybody because uh, of the COVID. We were closed and uh, banned to fly, even a pilot academy in this country. So, and this year, we are going to finish with 24 and a little bit uh, of uh, next year. So we're taking from Pilot Academy with this call 40 people. That includes uh, 12 uh, previously completed, 24 completing now, and uh, in 22, those who are going to be complete. So all the backlog uh, is going to be cleaned up. And then 2022 second part and 2023 will be from those students who are finishing now. And you, if you're joining today, so you will be uh, coming in uh, into 2023 and 2024 graduates, uh, which will be also a need for a quite decent numbers. What is our training uh, differs from other pilot academies or flying schools? So as we are part of the airline and uh, the main focus of pilot academy is to have a quality supply of uh, pilots training the pilot academy to the airline standard from the day one. So you start in uniform from the day one with your iPads, no papers, and then you complete and the same systems as the airline are going to use. So the adoption from the pilot academy into the uh, airline will be very, very smooth and easy. So, uh, and uh, we had already graduates and instructors who been accepting those graduates in the airline been saying that is the dream what we wanted to have before and with the Pilot Academy startups three years ago we fulfilled that dream and we fulfilled that task to have a quality students joining uh, the airline as first officers. So as I mentioned the program is 18 to 22 months it's integrated ATPL it's not modular uh, we also now uh, have a permission to uh, do a modular PPL and CPL is going to be approved within the coming months. So we'll have also uh, availability for the modular training, but now I'm talking about integrated, which means you start from the day one and you finish about uh, in 18 to 22 months, depending on the weather, because that gap of four months fluctuation is uh, based on the weather conditions here in Latvia, because our bases are in Riga, Lithuania, and uh, Liepai, which is the coastline and during summer we fly less, during uh, summer we fly full, and depending on how that winter hard is, so it, it might take a little bit longer. I don't talk about the uh, COVID uh, uh, situation when we had almost closed for a few months, for a half of year, and uh, we restarted just in the spring uh, of this year. So con uh, continuously education Continuous education is related to modern equipment. So uh, if uh, you would be looking up here and uh, a little bit on the opposite side of this building is that building was built specially for the airline and specially for the training. I'm staying uh, here in the bay where we had a, a Boeing 737 simulator, which together with the last aircraft, uh, which we paced out from the airline last year, we also removed the simulator and uh, this is the bay where the second uh, Airbus 220 simulator will be staying after 2023 when we'll have a 50 plus aircraft because the one simulator will be not be uh, enough. And all the classroom, all the systems what we use are up to 21st century. Not talking about the diamond itself. I will return back again to uh, the training aircraft just in a few slides. So who is training you? who those people are, where we are taking flight instructors. So we are not uh, looking for a flight instructor outside uh, of Air Baltic. Those are experienced first officers, mostly who are flying Airbus 220, had a vast of experience before. They still are not captains usually. We have several captains also training, but they have a lot of experience from operation and still have a fresh knowledge from uh, the theoretical part. So they are bringing you the bridge between your uh, effort to digest information which we is provided by the uh, electronic means and also uh, telling what, how those uh, 
how this knowledge could be applied into actual lying experience. And uh, at the end of uh, the program, we offer the work at the Baltic, and uh, in accordance with European Union EASA Aviation Safety Agency requirement, after you, you pass your test before studies for the Pilot Academy, when you finish Pilot Academy and join in the airline, you need to pass back again one testing, which is associated with your mostly uh, mental and psychological uh, status, and then uh, if you pass it well, so then you are joining the airline. The airline pilot standard integrated ATPL has almost uh, 1,000, 100,000 interior. If you think that you are training for uh, 18 to 20 months, divide that amount uh, by, by the days and you will understand that you are going to train every day, seven hours per day, theoretically until you finish theory and then a mix of theoretical training, simulated training and flying. So the first part is uh, classroom study uh, with instructor, we introduce the program, then you take uh, uh, computer-based training, which is specially designed programs, which explains you about each lesson, and uh, then you uh, spend your time self-studying, and then you return to the classroom uh, where the instructor is leading uh, the lesson and answering all your questions, also explaining the materials a little bit in interactive way. So. Uh, when you finish your, your first three blocks of the training and pass some exams which are enough to start flying, you, you go to Liepaja and start flying on our Diamond 40 fleet. I will show you later how many aircraft we have and uh, how old they are. And uh, uh, so you spend the, about 150 hours, but that is total amount. So initially you spend about 12 hours until you fly solo. And after the solo flight, uh, you start get, uh, collecting the hours. And in between the collection of the hours, uh, you go to the simulator and start learning about the instrument flying, about the multi-engine flying. And uh, when you have collected enough hours, so then you move into the instrument night flying. And finally, uh, you move into the multi-engine, uh, dual engine flying in the cross countries. And then you finish with multi-crew cooperation and UPRT training. For UPRT, which means upset recovery prevention training, when uh, you have a special aircraft which is flicking over, going into up and down, deep dives, big G-forces, uh, to understand for your body how those G-forces could affect your flying in the future, in the unwanted situations, and how to avoid going there, and how to escape from entering into the difficult situation we have two bases, one in Liepa, uh, in Latvia, and one is uh, our UK partner. So now uh, we have some restrictions pro for that uh, UPRT training in Latvia. So our students are going to UK to one of dedicated, especially for the UPRT training schools and flying a very advanced aircraft with UK instructors who are uh, very experienced in the field. So. Overall, it, as, I as I said, uh, it's 1,100 hours, and it takes 18 to 22 months. Diamond 40 and Diamond 42, why? Why Air Baltic uh, decided after long research to invest and to uh, have uh, the very young, uh, modern Diamond 40 and Diamond 42 fleet? So, uh, We've been looking for a different option. So the first requirement was to have modern avi avionics. And Diamond 40 was the one of the first uh, general aviation aircraft, which together with Garmin uh, adapted and designed Garmin 1000, which is synthetic vision. You can see three-dimensional vision in front of you. And it has a very, very modern uh, uh, avionic equipment which is more or less similar to what, what you will see later in your career on Airbus 220. Uh, secondly, uh, it's all composite and all uh, environmentally friendly aircraft, the same as Airbus 220. Our Airbus is 220 uh, burning less fuel than whoever else, about 21% less CO2, and the NOx is uh, almost 50% down. The same approach uh, took uh, Diamond Factory, and they introduced first in the, in the world uh, the 
jet engines or diesel engines which we are uh, which we are running on the Diamond 40 and Diamond 42. What does it mean? We protect the environment, we are very silent, and it's very efficient in terms of uh, the pollution. So we're almost uh, not polluting the air with those aircraft, and those are very, very silent if you look from outside. Uh, secondly, this is, the, as I mentioned, the modern airplane, and also doesn't have a control yoke, and but it has a stick, uh, which is uh, the same as a stick inside of the Airbus 220. And one throttle lever. No, the enrichment power levers or some uh, some other levers. You have a one lever, the same as on the jet engine. You push it forward and you got the power. So uh, we made it uh, to have a good transfer from your training into the uh, this big airplane training. So I, I myself flying a Diamond, Diamond 42, and also Airbus 220. So I can say the difference is very minimal. And for me, it's not a big... Uh, effort when you're changing uh, from the Airbus to 20 into the Diamond or opposite-wise. Uh, the fleet of Air Baltic uh, Diamond uh, been growing up and we had a business plan which we achieved. So um, in 2018 when we started, we started our pilot academy, we took first four, then we took another three and every year we add one, one, one until we reach the 10, which is good enough to have uh, 50 pilots every year joining the Pilot Academy and training on those airplanes. We don't want to be a mega scale airline uh, to sell the pilots uh, or to sell the training for others. We want to be, uh, and we are, Pilot Academy for pilot uh, training for Air Baltic needs mostly. And we will, if, but if you want to join our Pilot Academy and have some job somewhere else, you are also very welcome. But we are concentrating on those uh, who are going to uh, enjoy flying together with us. How to become Pilot Academy uh, student? So you need to, first of all, to apply. Uh, you can find the application on airbaltictrainer.com on, or uh, typing in just pilotacademy.com. This is dedicated Air Baltic Pilot Academy uh, the domain and web page which you can find information about our academy. Nothing else, just pilotacademy.com. And uh, send the application. Our professional team will look through the application. If you're matching uh, the requirements of joining uh, Pilot Academy, then you will receive invitation into, into the first level of the testing, which is uh, English, Mathematic, and Physical testing, the girls of this group task. And you will have, I know, a lot of questions what that English, math, and physics that means. And uh, I, I can tell that uh, it's not something uh, you're going to university. It's not something that you're going to pass level A exam. This is uh, just for us to understand. Do you remember still something from mathematical and physical learning in the school? And if your English is good enough to digest materials, which will be purely in English. Uh, if that is okay, then you're coming to this training facility and going through the, uh, no, sorry, you're going online still, general mental abilities, this is online test, and capacity evaluation happening also online. So this is special tools which uh, we are looking at, not only your knowledge, but ability to digest a little bit more. And then uh, if you're passing that selection process, you go into individual psychological assessment which is one-to-one -one talk to our uh, specially trained and dedicated people who are psychologists of aviation matters, and they have a special certificate to select the pilots for aviation. If that is okay, so then you go to final interview, and most probably you'll meet me back again, and uh, our uh, chief pilot from Pilot Academy and also chief pilot from the airline, head of training, is joining usually and uh, four or five of us are asking uh, the final questions and you present yourself because we want to see. And uh, when we are looking at you in the final interview, we are always looking how you are going to become a captain. We are not thinking about you joining as a pilot academy graduate, as a first officer, but we are almost looking at you. Are you going to be captain in our airline? And that, that is uh, all, all the intention of the final interview to check uh, how motivated you are, to check 
how big effort you put uh, and what is your background. If all is fine, so then we issue the letter that you are accepted within the several days. And together with that letter, you receive also uh, the letter com of confirmation that you can uh, uh, are accepted. And with that letter, usually people go to the banks and start looking for a loan. So, uh, and the success rate, I'm just returning too quick. One second. Yeah, so uh, usually from 100 applications, we have uh, about eight to 10. Uh, during COVID, uh, those uh, application level dropped down, but uh, the quality of applicants was so good that we took almost 50% of applicants because uh, during pandemic, only those guys who've been really uh, looking at aviation, not trying to look at, they've been applying. So we have a great candidates and the group started in September. Group started already in, in May are uh, very, very uh, nice people who are joining. And we are now filling up the group in November. There are still some few seats. So if you hurry, you can still get the seat in November group. Uh, what is the pilot career in our Baltic? So I quickly go through. So this, those are the uh, net and gross uh, salaries average. So you start as a first officer after one year, 12 months, exactly day to day. And then you become a first officer level two. And after another 12 months, you become a first officer level three. This is a process which is automated and together with your time in Air Baltic, you receive more and more salary. Then uh, if you stay at first officer level three, you can stay as long as you, as you want to, but if you are already ready for a captaincy, you go into senior first officer, uh, which is uh, level in between first officer and captain, somewhere around 70,000. And uh, that is not for a long period. It's only for the period when you are candidate to the captain. And uh, then you are watched by uh, your direct supervisors, chief pilots, line supervision captains. And if you, during that period, you also start training as a captain. And after the training and the period of maturity, you become a captain. And with the captain salary are going up another step and the captain salary is attaining over every two years, not every year, but every two years. So, and at the end, uh, you have a decent salary with the captain level three. But if you want to go further, so you are very welcome to join our flight instructor squadron or the management uh, management team which or technical pilot team. So and the salaries for additional duties are even higher. So this is illustrates uh, your income for the sake of uh, of uh, getting to be paid and uh, getting to have a business case for the for the investment into your profession. A part of a financial award, you have non-financial award, which is uh, unlimited home leave tickets because not everybody lives in Latvia, so you might be uh, living somewhere else. And uh, on the Air Baltic network, you can take as many uh, trips as you want per day, per week, per month uh, on our route network. So those who are living somewhere in Germany, they're flying to Germany, in, in, in Spain to Spain, and uh, you pay uh, just a fraction of the fee, which is very minor for ID travel uh, home and back. So, and then uh, you can have your vacation, so you can travel yourself and you take your family members as well, or your friend uh, after a period of six months or 12 months, depending on uh, which, which airline you're flying. And that is access for the, not only Air Baltic, but also other airline network. You have those uh, standard 20 vacation days plus uh, additional days when you have uh, kids. So all training, validation, medical, uh, visa cost, uh, if we need to fly somewhere else, is covered by the airline. You don't need to have any extra cost. Loss of license insurance is very important. So after six months of the employment in the airline, you start receiving loss of license insurance. So what does it mean? Uh, we are not insuring the license itself, but we're insuring your medical status. So if for some reason you are not able to hold any more class one medical, and uh, that period is up to the one year, so that company who is standing behind is paying you up to 100,000 euros 
just for the ch uh, sake of the change of the profession because you will not be able to fly without class one medical. We have se we had several cases during uh, uh, last five years. I think uh, two pilots left for a loss of license insurance because of different health issues. This is not very, very oftenly happening, but anyway, this is great protection, great protection for the future. So if you invest the money in your profession, you need to understand what if I lose my medical license. Here we have a protection, which is loss of license insurance. Uh, health insurance, which means daily and 24 seven is uh, all available and accident insurance is all available automatically, you want to or not. So uh, you have a standard health insurance package from our uh, one of the brokers and accident insurance as well. Uh, Pilot Academy has priority to work at the airline and as I mentioned, you need to pass a formal selection at the end of uh, Pilot Academy before you joining the airline because that is a commercial requirements for aviation in Europe. Question, how much it costs? Yeah, it doesn't cost uh, peanuts, it costs a little of money, but if you compare what you are going to receive is in the next seven to 10 years, and what we, you invest now, uh, the break even is something around five to six years uh, of your operation in Air Baltic. And then during the uh, last few years, you have a neutral and then you start receiving uh, the full benefits of being a pilot. So the first installment is 9,000. Uh, the second and third installment, which I'll show you later, is another 50,000. And the final installment is 20,000 uh, euros, which totally 79,000 euros. It does not include living and uh, housing, and it does not include uh, uh, the type rating which is sponsored by the airline. So the uh, first payment, uh, you don't need to pay all the sum immediately. So the first payment is before the start of the studies, and uh, you sign the contract with us for uh, the all amount and all the period of, of the time, but uh, to enter the program, you pay them 9,000. Why, the question? It's very simple. This is protection for both of us because uh, we don't know, we do all the effort to select proper, properly, to give you all advices, but we don't know how you are going to fly. And this is to cover your theoretical part until you finish uh, initial training and going into solo. If you complete a solo flight and you pass the, and you are released for flying further, that we both believe, and you also spend some 12 to 15 hours in the airplane, you, you study it and you con want to continue further, you can interrupt and uh, say, okay, I'm finishing here, I don't want to proceed, and you don't burn your f further money, we just uh, belatedly sign the agreement that is ending up, or you can continue further, so, and then the, f uh, the second installment is 20,000 euros. And that 20,000 euros is the money which you're going to burn uh, collecting your hours and uh, uh, training yourself to start IFR and night flying. And then uh, after se between the seven and 13 months, uh, we need to fly IFR and multi-engine piston, which is another uh, 30,000 required. And uh, at the end, at the very, very final, UPRT, multi-crew courses, some a uh, final exam and skill test uh, cost another 20,000 euros. So it's divided in the proportion. You don't need to pay immediately all. You sign for the whole uh, program, but uh, the money are coming in, in, the, in the parts. And for some reason, you stop somewhere, uh, we calculate how much you spend and we return back again whatever you haven't used yet. But we haven't only one, one case when, uh, when the pilot says after solo flight, he even passed the solo flight exam, but when he approached the aircraft and uh, put himself and uh, flew several solo flights, he says, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling uh, alone in the cockpit so well that I would be continuous with that profession. And we just uh, uh, discontinued the contract. We returned the money which he paid uh, 20,000 in front and that was the end of the story. And uh, we found a job even, and uh, we are very, very happy to have that colleague now in our Baltic working for the other department. So it's also, as I mentioned, does not include type rating, and uh, type rating is another 28,100 euros, which is uh, sponsored by the airline. 
uh, you sign the agreement uh, for the bond, which is not money, but your obligations to stay in the airline for uh, three to five years. And then uh, from your uh, monthly salary, we uh, reduce it within the 60 fraction of uh, that money which we have uh, been sponsoring you. So, uh, and you only start paying when you receive level one salary. During a training, nobody's asking you to return money back because uh, we understand that without the production, you can uh, not be able to live prosperous life if you will pay too much money back for your education. So the standard term for the sponsored uh, loan repayment is three to five years, depending, uh, five years is maximum. If you want, you can uh, do the three years. If you want, you can pay all immediately. It's not obligation, but you can choose one of the scheme. Why I should start today? Why I should invest in that profession today? If you are dreaming about uh, airline pilot job, so why I need to start now? Because it's a lot of, still a lot of plenty pilots unemployed, and it will be another, I would say, eight to 12 months when we'll still have the pilots around the globe. But the, airline, the airlines are now returning to about 70% of pre-COVID level. And uh, we know already that some American leading carriers, some European leading carrier has a problem to call back again the pilots who've been dismissed during pandemic because they, they found a job in the business aviation, they found a job somewhere else, and they cannot quickly return back again. So there is a shortage of the pilot currently and uh, for some big airlines. And uh, that shortage will be seen within the coming years uh, as uh, because we had already uh, similar situations five times in my life. I just uh, draw that picture based on uh, International Monetary Fund from my own experience because uh, I started to fly 1980s as a glider pilot. And uh, during that time, it, it was already the first, uh, first uh, crisis, which was uh, created by Iran revolution. And the fuel price skyrocketed up. And uh, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, economical downturn and uh, pilots being dismissed. But uh, after the crisis, that steep rise of economical growth was visible. And then it's stable for a year until we had uh, in 90s uh, the, the first war in Iraq and uh, that the, the oil fields were burning and uh, we had the second war in Iraq, uh, back again oil fields were burning and uh, the fuel price were also going up and that hits uh, uh, aviation. Back again the crisis which was regaining very quickly and uh, in 2001 it was uh, uh, the drama with uh, terrorism and uh, of course the aviation was hit very severely and uh, we had uh, that also downturn. But back again the recovery was quite steep backwards. And in 2009-2011 it was financial crisis, uh, so-called ho housing bubble and uh, that was even bigger and uh, the rise after that crisis was even steeper up. And now we have a COVID, which started in 2019, and we never had so deep dive of economy down in the uh, modern history, and aviation is a reflection of it. And that is why a lot of pilots been forced to leave the airlines and been forced to stay uh, unemployed for a several time. But now, as even we are starting to reemploy back again, and all the airlines are doing the same. So the recovery is expected. It's not my uh, my anticipation and vision, this is an international monetary fund which is based on historical financial figures. So we will see that recovery soon. So if you want to invest now, after two years, I do believe that uh, the economy will be back again uh, to pre-COVID and higher levels than before. So I, I finished almost uh, that long speech uh, and uh, I think I answered half of your questions already. Uh, which uh, you put on uh, slido.com. So we'll be having a short break for water zip and uh, we'll be answering all your questions in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in a couple of uh, seconds or minutes back again.
Uh, very welcome back on the Pilot Academy uh, of Air Baltic uh, Open Day. Now there's the time to question and answers, and I see the first question, uh, which is coming from you. And the question is, why pilots needs not grow from 2024 to 2025? The answer is very simple. We have a plan, uh, Horizon Destination 2025. And in accordance with that plan, we took a deliveries of 50 aircraft, 5-0. So, and uh, 2024 is the last year when we had uh, the aircraft number 5-0 delivered. And during 25, we will fly 50 aircraft. So the pilot needs uh, for the same amount of the aircraft it stays the same. So we are not uh, rubber in the market, and the uh, Baltic market is good enough for 50 aircraft, and uh, but as I mentioned, we are now looking, because every five years, running five years, we review the plan. And now we are looking at 2026, which is uh, uh, the cold business plan beyond 2026. And I don't have yet details of that plan, because we had the option for the 30 aircraft plus, so uh, plus 30 aircraft in the airline. But that is the option. That option is not executed. So depending on, on uh, the current market condition, depending on world movement towards uh, the uh, commerce aviation, we'll decide that either to take extra aircraft or to stay at 50, 55 level. But anyway, uh, that 500 pilot, if you, if you look at the 500 pilot in the airline, so uh, every year you have pilots leaving because of medical, because of private issues, and for that turnover of 50 pilots, we always be uh, happy to take 48 to 50 graduates every year. Next question is, maybe it is time to make internal Q&A for current graduates as well. Yes, so that is coming. Thank you, those are current graduates. That is coming, and uh, uh, we have a special dedicated session for you, which is coming within a coming week or two, uh, with all the answers and questions. Uh, a part of uh, the information you have. Yes, uh, that is happening. Next question is, I'm holder of PPL, CPL, instrument rating license. Is it possible to take this course? And how many course pay and how can possible to join there? So if you have PPL, CPL, instrument rating license, why you need to repeat it back again? There is no reason. But as you are not in our system, so as you are not a Pilot Academy graduate, uh, we are not taking any external pilots in inside the company, apart of those pilots who have been working with us or who are studying in the Pilot Academy. So my suggestion is either you look somewhere else or uh, you can uh, apply after 2024, uh, we, we, when we can expect that our Pilot Academy may be uh, will not be enough to support the airline growth. Maybe it's time, okay, jumping up and down. How, uh, how is the typical pilot's roster at Air Baltic look like? Uh, it's typical five days. In accordance with European Aviation Safety Rules, the pilot can fly up to 200 hours per month. Uh, with some breaks. So this is quite a bigger number of the hours and 2,000 hours of working hours per year. So our pilots during a winter period when, when the schedule is a little bit uh, more relaxed, they, they have a little bit more time. When the schedule is more tough during a summer period when we fly a lot, so you fly five days, two days off, five days, three days off, five days, four, four days off. You have one per month, four days off, and the rest is depending on uh, the roster. And uh, in Air Baltic, we have a bidding system when you can bid the flights, and depending on your uh, level in seniority, those bids are either approved or given to the higher rank pilot. So at the beginning, you will be work working hard, and together with progression of your career, in Air Baltic, you will get a better and better roster. That is happening in each airline. Is it true that after paying uh, all the bank payments first few years, you end up with only around 1,000 euros on your hands? Uh, I, I cannot answer that question, but 
uh, is it true? So if you th if you think that you're receiving uh, in the, on the paper three and a half four thousand euros, and you need to pay five hundred euros for a type rating in your bank or whatever you agree, and another uh, another part of money for a Baltic, uh, it will be that you will be going down to two and a half two thousand euros, and that is why we are not taking from. Uh, until you reach the level one during a training because uh, during a training we do understand that you have a lot of things to do and uh, during a first uh, level uh, officer so of course your salary it might be 1,500, 2,000 in the hands and then together with every year progression that amount will be bigger and uh, but you need to pay uh, you need to pay back uh, your loans and uh, your education so and I think uh, Having invested in the profession, having also left with uh, with decent money on, on your hand, is a good starting point. If that is not motivating you, uh, you can choose whatever the other profession which gives you a no need for investment in education and no need to repay it back. Uh, and uh, but this is your choice. Maybe this. Okay, uh, I am 30s. Is it too late for me? Uh, I am. 50 plus, and uh, I would not be applying any <laughs> in the other profession, but 30 is very good time. If you, if you decide it yourself, we don't have any limits for the age, but of course, if you are 50 plus, it would be quite interesting to see you on board of the Pilot Academy. But we have uh, the, the Pilot Academy graduates are even uh, 40 plus. I applied twice, but never made. Uh, should I try a third? As they say, the third is the ch charm. Yes, you please, very welcome. So the, the system is such that uh, when you applied and we received a negative answer, so ca you can reapply after 12 months or six months, depending on which skills you are missing. Because uh, we don't say that you don't fit at all. We, we say that you don't fit at the moment with your qualities, what you have now. So maybe th those qualities are improved and uh, during reapplication, uh, you can be accepted. So we have a lot of candidates who have been applying but not taken and then apply second time with improving. And today is a good example because uh, together with management today, we had a final interview on several guys and one applicant has applying second time. During the first time, uh, he had uh, a bit of demonstrated a little uncertainty but today it was brilliant and uh, uh, we had the internal discussion uh, that this guy is going to proceed further because it, it was visible improvement and visible acceptance from our side. So very welcome, uh, try and that demonstrates that you are wishing, wishing to achieve something. Next question is, there any financial solution for Lithuanians? Uh, it's a contract with the banks, etc. Thank you. So we don't segregate Lithuanian, Estonian, Latvian. We have a Latvian bank, which is uh, our partner, uh, which provides the banking uh, solutions for mostly Latvians. And uh, for Lithuanians, uh, we are working with, we've been working before the COVID with uh, one of the bank who is established in Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia. Now we have uh, difficulties because of the COVID situation, because during a COVID situation, uh, because of, uh, of uh, the difficulties which all aviation has, the banks are more strict in terms of giving the loan. So please approach your local bank and uh, with the paper what we receive, and I cannot that answer what, what they will uh, have a look at you. But the local bank uh, mostly finance uh, the Latvians, and also if you have a traces which they can look at uh, with your uh, living style, because it's very difficult for the bank who is established in Latvia or has branches in Lithuania, Estonia, to assess your creditability abilities uh, if you're living in Spain or France or UK. So that is related to the security of the loan. But uh, we always say, uh, try and then you will see. What is the cadet's average age? Oh, uh, maybe I can ask the, the people behind. I, I would say, 22, 25, a uh, good question. We will answer that with the next 
the next uh, open day, I, I will have a statistics. We, we haven't been looking. I know that we have from uh, 19 to 40 years old. That is, that is, uh, that is our gap. Uh, and, uh, and what is middle point, we need to calculate. When is the nearest group starting? Uh, there was a September group that started recently. There is one in October, November. So the, uh, this year, the last group this year is in November. Uh, can I ask the exact date, Christophs? A November group, exact date. 22nd of November. So you still have some time to apply and I think the selection is running this month for November group still. So please apply and you can uh, be on the 22nd of November selected. So we still have several seats. I know because we, we had uh, some, uh, some selection final interviews today. So November 22nd. Uh, the group after that, it will be in February and then the, the group 2022 will be in uh, April. So another question, do pilots often stay at hotels or they are more likely to return at the base at the end of the day? So 85% you return back again, 15% you stay overnight. But that is changing. So depending on uh, the schedule, for example, we have night stops, short night stops when uh, you just go to a hotel, sleep a few hours and return back again. That is mostly related with the night flying because uh, we have a wave of the aircraft returning to Riga early in the morning and uh, uh, also leaving the aircraft late in the evening. And some flights are very short, for example, like to Vilnius, Palanga, Tallinn, which is 30, 45 minutes. And then you stay in a hotel uh, to rest yourself and early morning you return back again to Riga. And uh, there are also longer stays like in Tenerife, Dubai, there are Helsinki when you stay uh, 48, 24 hours. And uh, those nice destinations are always very welcome for our pilots because you can also uh, see the world around. It is impossible, uh, another question, is it possible to the another foreign lines as PPL, CPL has joined the course and how the solution about finance and banking to pay the course fees for foreign. So uh, what does mean foreign? Foreign is not Latvian and even Latvian. It doesn't matter, you're foreigner or not. So uh, if you are a holder of CPL, PPL instrument rating, you have already commercial license. I don't know why you need to join integrated ATPL which is back again from the day, from PPL, CPL and integrated, and you spend vast of money which you already already invested in your profession. Please, please try to, trying to find a job with your current license in the business aviation, because uh, for me it doesn't sound reasonable to spend another two years, which you already did. The PPL, CPL integrated, most probably took you three or four years to get it. Now you have it and you want to start back again. So no logic there. So foreigner, what does foreigner means for us is non-European Union. So if you don't have a right to live in Europe or you don't have European passport, of course we cannot accept you into Pilot Academy because you need to have a rights to live or rights to work in Europe or to have European passport. It doesn't matter which country of Europe you have. Uh, for those who want to join uh, non-European so we, you need to get a visa, you need to get the permission, and then you can come. We are not, not providing this. We are not uh, trying to promote that uh, we would be organizing visas, we would be organizing your pathway from non-European country into the Europe. So that is your task, and if you've done your task, so you are very welcome. So I think this is the last question. And thank you very much for your active participation. I uh, hope you to see soon on the final interview. Apply, join Air Baltic, join aviation. And uh, the, uh, the situation which is now in ending up and Scandinavia is already opening the borders for, uh, uh, for the, they say COVID is ending. Uh, Germany is going to have that uh, ending in the spring. When we'll all reach 75% of uh, vaccination, we'll forget what that COVID is. And then when the people are uh, traveling back again in full steam, 
And then when uh, we are back again flying in the full steam, and if you start now, you can catch that train, which is fastly accelerating now in 2023. So join us and uh, try to get in. Thank you very much and enjoy your weekend.